Hello, everyone. This is Konstantin Konechnikov from Hope's Children Cancer Center, Heidelberg. It's my pleasure to present at the TransMed the topic of the investigation of potential cellular origins of pediatric brain tumors using the single nucleus transcriptome profile from the developing human cerebellum. Of course, first point, it's important to note about the uh, significance of this investigation, since unfortunately, the central nervous system tumors that remain among the top most dangerous uh, in the children's diseases, and there are still no clear, full, uh, most appropriate treatments available for them. Uh, even though through the past uh, decades, there were some improvements in the classification of such tumor types using uh, most importantly such techniques as a methylation that allowed to distinguish clearly between the groups of these tumors, uh, there are some still remaining unanswered questions. Two thirds of these pediatric tumors occur actually in the cerebellum, including such highly um, known medulloblastoma, ependymoma, pellicitic astrocytoma. And the problematic issues that remain are, of course, first the side effects of standard treatment approaches, such as the radiotherapy, and also lack of this novel targeted approach, simply, for example, the activation of one gene leading to the formation of the tumor and its deactivation. So now, people are actually uh, working in this research area, looking for this uh, possible treatment targets. But here we also need to understand actually what the normal cells uh, turn into the malignant. How is it happening? And actually this is the main goal of the brain match project, which uh, uh, is focusing on the usage of the human transcriptome profiles on the single cell level to investigate the cells of origin. Importantly, the initial focus is exactly the cerebellum, and once we have this classification of the cell types within the cerebellum of human, we can now use the large available bulk uh, RNA data uh, cohorts to perform the comparison of these the cell types to them to find this possible association. Importantly, we also now have the single cell data from these tumors that will allow to find this more specific connection within the tumor formation and association with these cells. And the focus of this project currently is the cerebellum single cell data. It is a large collaboration with evolutionary biologists who manage using the knowledge about the brain development to classify currently already uh, almost 200,000 of the cells from the human cerebellum, establishing well known cell types using such as, for example, public mouse data and other materials as a reference, but also distinguish more detailed development state classification of such cells. For example, if we have the granular cells, we still observe virus states like the granular cells progenitors, then the differentiation granular cells and granular cells defined. And um, importantly, the single cell data also covering multiple time points uh, where we can exactly observe uh, the variation between these cell types across them. And using this information, we also collect uh, additional target tumor data from the bulk cohorts. And here's an example of the one of the largest data sets that we're focusing on. It's composed for out of almost 3000 samples uh, from viruses sources. Uh, and to avoid some issues in the classification of these tumor types, we're actually using the methylation data uh, available for them, uh, which uh, currently remains the most optimal classification uh, for uh, central nervous system tumors. And for the cases where it's not available, we're using also the random forest uh, to adjust it accordingly. And it was possible actually to cover 65 central nervous tumors methylation classes, including our targets, uh, also those which partially occur in the cerebellum and also virus negative control. And the next largest step is of course the comparison of the cerebellum uh, cell types uh, to the tumors. And here uh, we investigated various available methods and focused on two main techniques, correlation and gene set virus analysis, which allowed to demonstrate the optimal results. We in verified these approaches using some uh, negative controls as mentioned previously, such as, for example, meningeal tumors, which demonstrate the best match to the meningeal as expected, or these tumor bulk samples, which actually enriched in the normal uh, immune cells exactly corresponding to this. And another important control was actually medulloblastoma tumors, which is known to be in the Sony Hedger group uh, to be associated with the granular cells progenitors, which we also saw this. 
We found some interesting uh, results also for other tumor types, but further I would like to focus mostly on the medulloblastoma. Importantly, all the results, we were also verifying some external data sets with a control of some simulation. But once looking more detail in the medulloblastoma, uh, we found that it best matching um, into the rhombic clip uh, in the granular progress cells. Importantly, even the most precise subclassification of medulloblastoma gives the standard results on each hydric responding to the ground cells progenitors, while the group four to the uniparabar cells, as was also uh, shown previously in other studies. Interestingly, group three didn't demonstrate any clear match effect, but kind of a distribution between the granular cells and uniparabar cells. To further investigate this, we uh, used the single cell tumor data for additional comparison. And uh, importantly, we uh, focused on the published data sets, which also had variances, for example, different protocols, uh, different cell instructions. And the first check we did, again, with a correlation using quite well-known already tool single R, with an adjustment versus four-factor machine for the uh, correct results. And we uh, observed uh, the clear confirmation of our bulk, uh, showing that Sony Hedger mostly uh, fast to the granular progenitors, group four to the uniparabar cells, and the group three remains somehow uh, in between. We investigated this further in detail by using a non agnostic polarization as adjustment to look how the tumor cells actually will be distributed among these the rhombic cells, starting from the early progenitors and uh, finishing uh, into the most clear association to the some uh, cell types, as the granular cell, for example, for the sewing charge. Importantly, after we got this uh, information, we now can also look for uh, some target genes, simply those which are specific for the cerebellum cell types, and in the same time uh, for the tumor class that we are focusing on. We're using, again, uh, large comparisons. We focus on the both single cell tumor data and the largest global available uh, bulk profiles uh, to find this candidate. And the next important step will be experimental validations for that. Importantly, I'm not going through, of course, other tumors, but everything what we uh, have in our results will be available for the uh, direct manual inspection via the Shani app for the brain match. It will have uh, bulk data covered fully uh, for the global comparisons with additional adjustment of the, all the parameters that we integrated for this uh, measurement and the similarity, and in the same manner for all the single cell tumor samples comparison. Uh, as I already demonstrated an example for the medulloblastoma. Uh, for this, of course, the project is uh, quite like the many people involved. I'm super thankful to everyone here and for your attention. We'll be glad to answer any questions.